check, mic check, one, two, one, two. All right, go far. Let's get into this one time. So, Will Smith has released the video apologizing. How long has it been now? It's been about, what, three or four months? Mind you, it doesn't even feel like it's been that long. Or does it feel as it has been a little bit longer? Actually, it does almost feel like this was last year. But people kept dragging this out. So, hey, let's see what he's saying in this video. But I'm still down for Will. I, I said in the video, when I made a video about the whole slap incident at the Oscars, is I don't condone the action of Will Smith and how he went about releasing his anger. However, with that being said, as a human being, I understand when the straw breaks the camel's back. And right then and there, you know, just being a person that I, I understand. However, full demerits on how he went about it from my perspective. So let's check this out. I'm doing too much talking. Let's see what Will Smith's gonna say. Let go. I'm still, I'm still team Will all day, every day. I never lost like a liking for him or nothing. It's just that mm -hmm. I know this was gonna affect him. I'm glad he is finally coming back out into the light and getting this off his chest. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Oh, he's answering questions. My behavior was unacceptable. Will Smith addresses Oscar Slap apologizes to Chris Rock. Oh, so he's taking the questions that people want to know. And this is a really big question. This is one of probably the first questions that a lot of people are asking. Like, and you made your acceptance speech. Why didn't you just? Um, All right. I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, he will reach out. Um, I mean, I could expect that. That's national TV, bro. That's the Oscars. Like, I could see really and truly if Chris Rock ain't the one to talk to you. But at some point in time, it, it's going to come a time and I think that is going to happen but what you got to think about like this like Will Smith is looked up to by so many not even just us who watch his movies as consumers of just you know the TV world and all of the Fresh Prince and we grew up watching him on Fresh Prince and all these other big screen movies MIB everything like that but it the industry as a as an actor and a Hollywood star so even from that world Chris Rock being a comedian also an actor in a lot of movies, big movies, by the way. Pookie, if you don't know, but also funny movies. I'm pretty sure Chris Rock looked up to Will Smith. So it's kind of like, dude, that hurt. For me to be able to look up to somebody and for that person to do what they did on at that stage, I at least feel some type of way too, bro. I, let me keep it 100. I would even feel some type of way. Fox, some Fox. If you feel some other type of way, then probably you just have those built up nerves of steel or just have ice running through your veins. But I'd feel some way if my mentor pull a stunt like that on me on live TV even if it was behind closed doors I'd feel some type of way he will reach out the response just might have been different um, so I will I will say to you um, Chris I apologize to you uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize, and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family. Uh, specifically Tony Rock, you know, we had a great relationship. Facts. You know, Tony. I don't know if it was just me, but I, I, I'm i not only just listening for his words, but I'm also looking at his body language because we know Will is an actor. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, how is he not just maybe acting out a different role and just playing this off? And is he really genuine about it? That's why I'm literally paying attention to focusing on body movements and body language per se. Because this is how, in some kind of way, detectives be able to determine whether a person's lying or not. Like profilers, this is how they profile you. They're not just listening for your words. They're watching your movements, watching your actions, watching your eye movements, and this and that. And when Will was saying certain things, if you, it was 
hard to notice, but if you really kind of focus and you look at it, his hands were kind of shaking a little bit in certain ways. So it was kind of like, those are nerves that tapped into your system, to your brain. Like you can't really, there's certain actions like, yes, you can maybe portray, but in the moment right then and there, you can't really, that's, that's a nervous system claim that not too many people can fake. That's just real shit right there. I, I, there's nothing about this so far that I can see that he's putting on his actor mask facade in this. Specifically Tony Rock, you know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, Facts. I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, and I'm not gonna try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice. This is another question a lot of people wanted to know too. A very huge part of that whole scenario. Based on my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris, Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm gonna say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family. There's a lot of people beating up on Jada for that too, because I, I still think it was the the look and the reaction, it wasn't nothing that had to be translated or said communication wise, but it was just that, you know when a woman gives you a certain look, let's keep it real fellas. If we've been around women long enough, for those of you who have never been in a relationship, when you do get in one, your woman gives you a look sometimes. It's almost like your mom. When she tells you to pick something up off the floor, like you might try to ignore the situation or think she's joking, but when she turned around and give you that look, you'd be like, let me pick this shit up because she didn't give me that look, but I ain't so we. So that might have played a reaction to the nervous system. Bang! You know what to do. When mom give you that look, you, you just know. Pops give you that look, you just know. Grammy give you that look to be like, boy, if you don't clean the, you gotta do. So. For the heat that I brought on all of us. Yeah. Uh, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you you voted for me, and it, it it really breaks my heart to have stolen and and tarnished tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it it happened on Quest Love's uh, award, and you know, it's like I'm I'm. I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Another um, big question, another big question. So there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, it hurts. It does. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. And the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made a mistake and- That's powerful right there what he said. That is very, very powerful right there. I, I, that's gonna probably evade a lot of people, but in a sense, I really get where you're coming from where he said that. 
remorseful without being ashamed of myself. It's hard to be remorseful without being ashamed of yourself, to be able to say, you know, you want to continue to go on with life and go out into the public and accept what you did. But at the same time, it's almost like society is going to quote unquote judge you because they're going to feel like, oh, he's just out here eating ice cream and stuff like that. Why isn't he at home sulking for the repercussions and the, the backlash of him slapping Chris Rock on the Oscars? And it's, I completely understand exactly what he's saying. That is going to fly over many people's head, but that is powerful right there. People won't feel 100% that you have truly felt sincere unless they see you in this bubble of just continuously beating yourself up consciously, mentally, and in life in general, then they're gonna feel like, okay, enough time has passed, then this per Will. Whoo! And I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so Man. I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. I I hear Will. I hear Fred. I completely understand what he's saying, bro. Like that whole last piece right there with just in general, you is not even just people that who will make you feel like you have to do that. You yourself at some point in time you will feel like, man, it, it's kinda like when somebody a loved one passes. That's something that only time is going to be that's a wound that time is only gonna be able to heal. And you kind of put yourself through this depression mode of recuperation and you know what I mean, mental balance again. So I understand where he's coming from where it's like even in himself, you don't want yourself to go around walking and, and every day you have this thought in your mind that I'm a piece of shit, I'm a piece of shit, I'm a piece of shit. Because then that starts to wear down on you to wear it's just like how people will say, you do anything for 31 days, it becomes a habit. It's like now he's fighting with himself mentally to not think of himself as a piece of shit to actually be portraying that now physically it turns from and that's what he's fighting against doing it's like he knows that i made a freaking mistake but at the same time i gotta bottle myself to remember that i'm still a person of giving joy hope light to the world which will smith has done for a amount of years i mean let's keep it 100 from the fresh prince up even in his music career, the dude never cussed in music. Come on, he has big number one hits that he even cursed in in music. Will Smith is like the epitome of good guy. That, that's the simplest I can put it. When you want to talk about a general all around good guy, he's like Keanu Reeves to me. The meaning of a good guy to me. I still got hope in you, bro. I never lost faith. I still watch your movies. I just finished watching Independence Day the other day. I'm enemy of the state. One of my favorite Will Smith movies, by the way. One of my favorite. I'll put that in my top 10, period. Let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. See y'all. Peace out and well. Stay faithful. Be grateful.